lots of noodling to be done on that one. Try to hold it short, but um. All right, Moon and Back gotta be my favorite song of the album, or top two. It's a great album. Um, but getting into this one, we're gonna be standard tuning capo first fret. We're gonna go through the whole chord progression. The whole song chords are not bad. Um, I wish I'll show you that little. I'll show you that little intro run. Um, it's not too bad, but just if you got a loop pedal, it's easy to throw in. If you don't, probably a little tough, but either way, I'll show it to you if you got it. So, starting off, um, you're going to be in a G chord. It's going to be just 3, 2, open, open, 3, 3. And general rule of thumb that I found for this song is if you want to throw hammer-ons in about anywhere, they're going to sound pretty good. Because he does have, the album version's a lot of like... You know, he's kind of just picking picking through, kind of just accenting the high, most of saying the low. You can play it more of a strum. Play more of a strum, totally fine. Um, again, he does a lot of different ways, and it's kind of a real loose song anyway. So, all you're going to do is kind of in your G shape, kind of... Focus on your lows, especially get those root notes. And then just kind of using your accents as the high notes up here. Um, but after your G shape, all you do is drop that middle finger, switch your uh, index finger up here on the second fret, low E, second fret from the capo. And then keep your pinky and ring where they are. We're going into an it's like it's an technically E minor on top, and then with your um, G shape still on the bottom, it's kind of that wonder wall E. And I especially like to hammer on into that kind of hammer on into that one, kind of breaks it up a little bit from being kind of muted and deep. Into that E, then we into that like that C at nine shape. But with your pinky. So all you're gonna be is like a G shape, bump these top two fingers down one string. So you're gonna be muted, and then three, two, open, three, three. And the only important hammer on there, very last strum of it, you're gonna do a a pull off on that D string. Uh, so it's gonna sound back into that G. And so that is going to get you all the way up through the intro, the verse, although there's kind of a bridge before the chorus. Um, but before we get to that, I'll show you that that kind of big uh, that little solo over the intro. Um, so this one we're going to go relative to not the capo, just because it's easier to see. Um, so calling that sixth fret, not the capo, or fifth from the capo, however you want to do it. You're going to bend that bad boy up, catch it on your fourth. So, again, that's a big intro one. It's going to be our next one. So it's going to be from 4 to 6 on the B string. You're going to hammer on. Repick on 4. And then a little run. And all the runs going to be is you're going to be going from 3 to 5 with, um, without the capo. And that's going to be our G string. Four to six on the B, four on the high E, and then back to your six on the B. So real slow. We get holding that one. End it off with a that same run as the second one. So it's going to be four to six on the B, hammer on, an open on the B, or not an open on the B, a longer note on the second fret. It's a live fourth repeat. And there's again a lot of noodling to be done. Lots of noodles in there, but to keep it to what he does, that's all you're gonna need. Um, again, if you got a loop pedal, it's gonna be real easy to throw in. Um, the only other thing is that bridge into the chorus. We're gonna be in a D, it's the only time we're gonna use a D. We're just gonna be muted, muted, and then open, two, three, two. 
back to that C at nine, that last note of the song. It's so like that G, but bumped down. Make no sense to me. And then that's where you lead into the chorus, obviously. So you're... My parents say, and then you're going into that. The chorus is going to be the same as the verse, intro, there, everything. So stupid guy. That should be it. So again, that same progression. And you're gonna be doing that in intro, verse, chorus, everything except that little bridge, which is just that D to C on nine. Good luck with it. It's one of my favorites, so I'll be good at quick.